What's up, Doombots? Tony Scangilli here with another event video, this time for Scrooge's Money Bin Heist. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been advocating very hard for a starting team of downtown villain characters. Demona Syndrome, Big Bad Wolf, Pete, Zerg when he comes back, just to give you the understanding that the downtown villains team is a very useful team for a lot of things. Now, whether they're a great end game PVP team or not, kind of irrelevant considering this game is not exclusively end game PVP. There are things like tower, there are things uh, like these events that are going to have requirements that you need to make and it's important to get them early so that as you progress, you have multiple opportunities or so to make sure that you can do these events. Now, have you been listening and farming the downtown villains, as I had mentioned before? Surprise, there will be some reward for you. And that reward is the ability to do multiple nodes in Scrooge's money bin. So right now, real quick, uh, it's separated interestingly, right? The first one requires three downtown villains at three star. The second one, four at four star. Also, four at five star for the third one, once you get to this point, it starts to need a little bit more. Five at six, and then finishing at five at seven star. I don't think many people who haven't been playing this game since the early beta uh, are gonna be able to accomplish five on the first pass. That said, as long as you can accomplish any of it, you're basically getting free gold. This event will come back relatively often, probably with a little bit more frequency than the uh, character driven events, mainly because this event will give you an influx of gold coins that will help you progress the rest of your characters. So when this event goes live, there usually tends to be some kind of offers. And depending on what those offers are, whether they be for actual money or for gems, they tend to have, as you saw with the Aladdin event, offers regarding the event, or at least related to the event. So it stands to reason that there may be a handful of downtown villain offers, um, gem packs, something like that, as this event starts. I'd just like to right now take a chance to tell you a little bit about which ones I think are worth it if they show up, or if they ever show up. Uh, the first is, any opportunity for you to get access to Dr. Facilier, take it. Dr. Facilier is a PvE god and a PvP... what's the word? Uh, scooch, like pain. <laughs> he's, he's a real troublemaker in PvP because players will have a hard time deciding if they needed to kill him or if they need to ignore him. And if you ignore him, he can do some pretty heinous things, not only to your team, but to his own team really keeping them alive and undoing a lot of the work you do. Dr. Facilier, of all of all the downtown villains, he's probably the best farmable one, if that makes sense. Um, at least from a perspective of progressing in things like Tower or the campaigns that you may need access to, which is just the villains and the grand campaign, but those are still campaigns, right? Uh, so if you see anything for Dr. Facilier, whether it be for actual money or for gems that you may have been able to bank up, I would pretty much, without hesitation, look at it and maybe even buy it. Uh, the same with Big Bad Wolf. Big Bad Wolf is a character I've been informing people to farm. Uh, if any extra access you get to Big Bad Wolf is great, because as you can see, I got mine to seven star as quickly as possible, uh, even before characters like Aladdin, uh, Mulan, Jasmine, pretty much a lot of characters, because he's so good at just being an AoE PV E character and since a lot of players do have a lot of positive hero teams in PvP and in Sorcerer's Tournament, he does get a little bit extra value. So these are two characters, Facilier and Big Bad Wolf, that I think are going to help you overall in your experience of the game. As much as you can get access to them early, great, and any opportunity you have to gain more of them quicker, uh, if it's within your means, I would highly recommend doing so. As for some of the other characters, uh, you may see that Jangles being a downtown's villain, Demona, 
um, P and Syndrome, who I do have at higher than four star. I just don't have the gold necessarily to spend on them. I have a million gold, so that's enough to maybe bring one or two characters up to six star, but it's, it's gold's not terrible crunch, but you do have to be careful with how you use it, especially in the early game where it's very, very scarce and there's a lot of directions you're being pulled in, both heroes and villains characters, and then the hybrid of the two for PvP stuff. That said, uh, if you had been working on whichever of the characters you came across, whether it be BBW, Jangles, and Syndrome, or some other combination, you should be okay to complete not only one, um, but maybe very close to two of these events. Like I said, this event will come back again, and probably with a pretty decent frequency. I wouldn't say once a month, but I would say maybe once every month and a half we might see this kind of event. Uh, and we also will probably see events that kind of line up with, let me just show you real quick, the summoner's challenges. So we may start seeing events that give a little bit more uh, ability materials and uh, an event that gives a little bit of potions. All of these items are important. So seeing an event that is specifically designed around some of the important resources we obtain in the game is always great. Uh, even if it's just the gold event and if I'm wrong and they're doing it at least once a month, that's great too. It also confirms the fact that working on the downtown villains for you will give you multiple steps of value, including but not limited to unlocking one of the best downtown villains, if not damage dealers in the game, Zerg, who at the time of this video requires a team of downtown villains to unlock. Other than that, I'd like you to like this video, but I'd also like you to comment below and let me you know what you think of these kind of events. These events where uh, basically, depending on what you've invested in, you can progress further and further. Now, obviously, not everyone can invest so much so quickly that they can make these events easy or they can complete every aspect of them on the first stage. But if it gives you something to work towards, if it gives you something to look forward towards, I see it as a net positive. How do you see it? Uh, other than that, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say on this event. Uh, I do plan on streaming DSA going forward on Saturdays at least, and then of course randomly during my normal scheduled streams. So if it's Saturday uh, and you're around, stop by Twitch and see if Tony Scongeli is playing some DSA. I can answer your questions live there. Hopefully I have the answers, and if I don't, I will do my best to find them. Uh, other than that, have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I'll catch you later.